<sighs> Finally awake, huh? You've been a major pain in our ass. What the... You guys... Who the hell are you guys? Your worst nightmare. <gasps> the police are after you. They're not the only ones. They think you're the one who killed King Moron and the other two. So, are you the killer? All the cases... All on me. <laughs> That's right. I did it! You piece of shit. You tell him, Kanji. And not just that bastard Moraoka. That stupid announcer. And the Konishi bitch, too. I killed all of them. It was all me! Where'd it go? That's never happened before. What's going on? <laughs> it's gone. That frickin' monster disappeared. Take that, son of a bitch! You didn't do a damn thing! That was us! <sighs> hey! He's fine. He's exhausted. We need to hurry and get him out of here. I vote we take our time. Where am I? Just your local department store of doom. Why am I here? What the hell are you guys? S stop it. Why did the TV... <sighs> hey. You seem confused from everything that happened, but we have a bunch of questions for you. That's right. Right to the point, Teddy. First off, why did you do all this? Answer in ten words or less. What? <laughs> what the hell? Is that a costume? Don't dodge the question. <laughs> what a loser. Get out of my face, you freak. Freak! Grr! Hold it, Teddy. You're not helping. Okay. So, our first question. Did you really do it? Get off my back. I already told you. I did it. Why? How could you do such a thing? Three people are dead because of you. <laughs> what a sick freak. <laughs> Everyone's talking about it, right? It's a huge deal. And I did it. All of it. All by myself. You just wanted the attention? Then why did you target me and the others? How did you kidnap us? <sighs> Whoa, look who it is. <laughs> hey, Yuki. Where do you get off calling her Yuki? After all this time, now you want to talk to me? <laughs> what bullshit. Answer me! If you held a grudge against me, that's fine! But why the others? <laughs> what a joke. You're so desperate, it hurts. Kanji, he's all yours. I didn't care who I attacked. Everyone pisses me off. You what? You gotta be kidding me. You killed Senpai over nothing?! You son of a bitch! Yosuke... Calm down, I don't want you to do anything rash. I hope you're ready to get what's coming to you. <laughs> what, you gonna kill me? Much worse. Promise. Kanji-kun! Kill you? 
It ain't gonna be that easy, you piece of shit. What you did can never be taken back. No, you're gonna own up to your crimes and pay for what you did. You ain't gonna be allowed to kick the bucket until you understand exactly what it is you've done. <sighs> Why, damn it! Why does she have to die because of this bastard? <laughs> Dude, the cops. Call them. Huh? What are you waiting for? Call the damn police! Yeah, you're right. Yosuke. Well... We did our part. Game over, damn straight. At least Adachi san seemed happy. Well, I guess this means our work is done. Finally. He did it all to draw attention. Wow, I can't get my head around that. It's just wrong. Some people, Chie, some people. I mean. Not that it would have been okay if he'd had a better reason. I know. Don't worry. It's finally over. Let's leave the rest to the police. My world will be peaceful again now. That's true, Teddy. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, I'm happy for you. We really went through a lot. I like scoring with guys. Uh, what? Oh, come on. Will you ever let it go? Oh, not you, Yukiko. I thought I thought Teddy was scoring with guys. I'm like, Kanji? What? Scoring with guys? Wait, are you serious, Kanji? You and Teddy? You, you don't need to know the details. Uh I'm gonna back off before I stick my foot in my mouth again. I'm sure you'd like us to forget the sauna incident too, right, Kanji-kun? Uh, w well... Scary. That's not fair. I wanted to see everyone else's too. That's what you get for being last, Rise. Sorry. That's right. We three are the only ones who saw everyone's secret. So what was Yosuke's like? Come on, it's about time you told us. Well, there was this giant frog involved. Like, I don't know, actually. How would I describe that? There was a giant frog. I fought it. It spun around a bit. Eh, it was pretty much like the rest of them. Come on, let's leave it at that. Speaking of which, nothing really happened in your case, huh? Guess not. Hmm. Really? Wait, really? Is there something special about Senpai after all? Well, I do have a Persona deck that can hold a lot of Personas, and you guys can use one. Maybe that's what it is? Sensei is the man! And now that the case is solved, we won't be calling you leader anymore, will we? Well, you still can. I won't object. Oh, yeah. It's kind of sad. But it is unnecessary. Well. Hey, why don't we have a celebration? We always have a rap party after we're done shooting. It's fun, and it'll help give us some closure. Ooh, a party! That sounds great! Let's go all out! Oh, I want to go to Yuki-chan's house. Wait, we're having it at Yukiko's? Gorgeous dinner, hot springs, table tennis, yukata, geisha, Fujiyama, full wootness! Did you just say wootness? I'm in for, I'm in for everything else except that. You're right. Yukiko-senpai's family runs a hot springs inn. That was a lot of S's in there for some reason. It just sounded like there was an extra S. A hot spring that Yukiko Senpai bathes into? Hey, 
Hey, keep it to yourself. You're sounding like a creep. You're not much better, Yosuke. Lest you forget. Well, it sounds like fun, but I don't think it's possible today. Oh, yeah, it's summer vacation. All the rooms must be occupied. Maybe we can schedule it for a while from now? We can't do a sleepover? Maybe next time. I promise. Hey, why don't we hit your place instead? It's probably fine. Oh, but will your uncle get suspicious? Like, why are you all celebrating? School's over, summer break! Isn't that a good enough reason? I'm fine with it, that sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Great! Let's head over right away! Oh yeah, if your uncle's a detective, he might not come home tonight. That's a great point. Yeah, he'll be interviewing the guy, probably. Nanako-chan might be getting hungry. We'll definitely bring her food then. Hey, then why don't we make dinner together? Uh. Wow, are you good at cooking, senpai? Don't ask, Risei. Well, sort of. Can I take care of the cooking and or can we order out or anything to stop them? What are you saying? Did you already forget the tragedy of the school camp out? Well, we already told you that was an accident. We don't need any repeat accidents. She's right. We just got a couple of the ingredients wrong. Guys, please don't do this. I'm begging you, I don't need another trauma to deal with. Hey, I'm a good cook too. Really? I'll make something for you, senpai. Okay. I will take her at her word. Ta-da! Teddy has a great idea. Let's have a cooking battle. The winner will be crowned Iron Cook Inaba. Wait, we're ha- oh, Um, okay, who's judge? A cooking battle? Now I'm even more worried. Sure, that sounds like fun! Aw, but I'll win hands down. You sure you want to make it that easy? Oh, that sounds like a challenge! Dude, listen to me. For the sake of our stomachs, you have to cook something too! Oh, I'm in, Yosuke. Me versus Rise. Help us, partner. You're our only hope. Then you can represent the guys' team. Nanako-chan will be our judge. Wait, we're gonna subject Nanako to your food? I, do we want to kill her? I can be a taster, too. Okay, I'm fine with that. Teddy can be a tester, too. Double fine. At the end, you're supposed to say that was delicious, right? Well. Wow. I'm getting all fired up! Yeah, well, maybe it'll make your cooking better. All right, let us advance forth into the grocery section downstairs. Charge! After you. Okay, well, suddenly, we are having a cooking battle. Hello, Dojima residents. Oh, hi. Hey. Yeah, he said he's gonna be late today. Okay, well, don't worry about that, because we have a fantastic idea. Huh? Dinner? You're all going to cook? Yeah, and we want you to judge. Is that okay? Ask Nanako-chan what she wants for dinner. Good idea. Really, nothing in particular sounds good? She's just being modest. Ask her again. Okay, one more time. Well, um, an omelet. For dinner? I want to eat omelet with fried rice. Okay, Nanako has spoken. Okay, I'll be waiting. See ya. All right, well, you have your orders. Fried rice omelet, an excellent choice, Nanako-chan. 
With a dish that simple, I doubt we'll get a second helping of Mystery Food X. Ideally. Then again, we don't have to eat it. Huh? What's wrong? N nothing All right. Let's go get our ingredients. I recommend you start with eggs. That, that's a good start for an omelet, just in case you didn't... Okay, yeah. I don't need to help my competition, probably. Uh, if they're all making the same thing, why are they splitting up to different parts of the market? Don't ask, Yosuke. Just don't ask. Looks like you'll need all the help I can give you. Really? By the fact that they don't know what they're doing, I think I'm in a pretty good position. Hey, what kind of omelet are you making? I'll go get the ingredients for you. Uh, what kind of omelet would Nanako like? Uh, ketchup flavored? That's boring. Herb filled? Probably not great for children. Aromatic? Well, I think that sounds fantastic. Uh, as along with the herb filled, I think both of those sound awesome. Again, probably not for kids. Uh, Asian American soy flavored? That's probably a little variety we can get away with without going overboard. Thanks for the help, Yosuke. I love having a gopher. Foie gras? Who got that? Quite an eye you got there, senpai. Okay. It's a must-have for my special omelet. Don't worry, I'll let you have a taste. Ooh, or maybe I could spoon feed you. <laughs> You're spoon feeding Yosuke? What happened to me? I heard last time you choked down something so awful that words couldn't describe it. No, it was really. It was a battlefield. It was a battlefield, and I was shot through the heart. But you were too late, Risei. It was horrible. You poor dears. Who would do such a horrible thing? I don't remember. I couldn't see their face. Risei-san, this is going to be the only chance you get to gloat. Is that clear? I'll crush you with one strike. <laughs> Whoa. You guys look like you're ready to enter the ultimate frying championship. Kanji kun, that's alcohol. Uh, oh, it... <laughs> By the way, where's Teddy? Wait, where is Teddy? Miss, am I allowed to eat this? Of course you can, dear. Eat as much as you like. Ah. You're such a nice lady. Is this one cooked already? <laughs> this one's ready, too. What an abuse of power. Oh, my. Are you hungry for more? Here, I'll open this one, too. You're so beautiful. Oh. Oh, my. No. No, I mustn't. I've got a husband and a son. But I really want this meat, and I want you to cook it, miss. How could someone so... Teddy get born into a body so... Ugh. Oh, I couldn't possibly. The manager would get so upset. I'm going to knock the stuffing out of that bear. Have fun, Yosuke. I'll watch. This promises to be Risei interesting. Risei Chan was right. This celebration does make me feel like it's over. But it's at least a fun celebration, right? The case really has come to an end. <sighs> oh, Nanato doesn't know anything oh, wow. about that. It's really we have to be careful. I should go back over there soon. Are you going somewhere? 
Yep, the guys kept their promise. A promise, huh? What if you made a promise with me? Could you say them? A promise with Nana-chan? Um, a promise that you'll play with me. How about that? Sensei, you kept your promise with me, so I should go back over there. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. It's, I mean, certainly we kept your promise with you, but since when was half of that bargain you staying on your side of the world? But a promise is a promise. It's not good to break them. It's not really breaking when you change the terms of the agreement mutually, is it? After all, you did promise Nanako. Sensei! My promise with Nana-chan. I made a promise to play with her. And you better keep that promise or there'll be hell to pay, you hear? Can I really stay here? It wasn't just my promise. Nana-chan made it with me. Though you have to live with Yosuke, you can't live here. I'm really, really happy. Thank you. Don't mention it, Teddy. For as much as he can be a pain sometimes, he's so... sweet. I just love how truly thankful he is. Unbridledly so. Ooh, recarm. Yosuke, I have a new promise to keep. So I want to stay here a little longer. Is that okay with you, sir? Sir? Huh? What are you talking about? You're not going anywhere. See? Yo stays on, on board, too. You can't just quit your job like that. In any case, if you left... It's ready! Ooh. Coming food! Out of the way, senpai! Whoa! Ow! I call some of Reese's. Bon appetit! Well, well, wait a sec. Asking Nanako-chan to jump in and try these for us is kind of... Unethical. I kinda agree. Don't look at us like that! Oh. So it's our job to taste it first. To make sure we can keep it down. Uh, yeah, you're missing a little Y on the beginning of R. Uh, it's your job to try it first. Hey, that's mean! Would you rather have Nanako try it first? Try mine first, Yosuke-senpai. It's guaranteed delicious. You don't mind me going first? Actually, I've been looking forward to yours. I mean, Rizette cooked it herself. Can you imagine how many guys would kill me if they found out? I can think of one off the top of his head. His name might be Mitsuo. Well then, chow time! Is it really that good, Yosuke? I... I... can't give this to Nanako-chan. Ooh, it's so delicious that you won't let anyone else have a bite? Okay, well, I had high hopes for this one, but... <sighs> Here we go. Yeah, sorry, no. My vote is no for Nanako to eat this. Yeah, where was the fog raw? Do you taste your food as you cook it, Rise, or are you just immune to spice? Sorry. Here, try mine next. I'll take this one. Good luck, Kanji. That's a lot. 
Ooh, two bites. Three! Oh my god! Hey, say something. Well, uh... How do I put this? It tastes really... Um... Boneless? <laughs> As omelets should? What? That's not a word you use to describe taste. Well, he didn't find any bones in your omelet. That's a good start, right? Does it taste good or not? Tell me. never tasted something that I couldn't taste before. That's like a paradox or something. Not good, uh, that's for sure. It tastes like... like I'm eating plain oatmeal. It's pretty impressive that you put so many ingredients into a dish and it came out tasting like nothing. That's true. That's high praise. Your palate just isn't refined enough. It's okay, Don't worry about it. I think it tastes good. Aww. <sighs> Nanako-chan. Okay. Try my next. Kanji first. Uh, I don't know about this, but I think it'll taste good. This time for sure. Okay. I like how we did went from I don't know about this to this time for sure in two sentences. I'll give it a whirl. Good luck. How is it? Wow! This tastes awful! <laughs> <laughs> You have to try this, Yosuke! That's not how that works. Dude, not after you say that. Aha, I see. What do we see? I have to know. Well, um, it's a huge improvement over the curry. It's edible. Yeah, that's a start. Yeah, thanks for the consolation. I feel so much better. I didn't taste any bones. I think this tastes good, too. Oh. Nanako-chan! So sweet. Oh, yeah, they're right. They're totally right. It tastes awful. <laughs> then try Reese John's. I bet you anything mine tastes better than hers. This will be good. <laughs> oh no! Senpai? Is she okay? Sure enough. One strike. Yeah, Yukiko said she'd crush Rise with one strike, but it's the other way around. Incidentally. Well, Yukiko and Chie's didn't taste good either, but at least theirs didn't cause any casualties. <laughs> this time. It did last time. Everybody gets one. It's a taste too subtle for kids. It's a mature flavor. You guys are just kids. I... I... My poor heart. Oh, Nanako, don't do that. Uh, it, it's spicy, but it's still good. Nanako-chan! Hm, I knew it! Nanako-chan's the most mature person in this room. I'll remember you said that. Crocodile tears. Did you expect anything different? Oh yeah. 
Didn't you make one too, senpai? I was kind of just enjoying everybody else and their doing of their things. Watching them all flounder around and fail. Well, I know mine's fantastic. You did? Oh! <sighs> this is really good. Yes. You never had an omelet with fried rice this good. <gasps> it's amazing. So, ladies, how about you say, I did better than you. Jo wow! She ate the whole thing. That is a job well done. Are you full, Nanako-chan? We're still starving. If you're so hungry, then help yourself to an awful tasting omelet! Huh. Well, maybe if you made a better one like me. Uh, I have a suggestion. You guys know about the festival they're holding in the shopping district, right? Why don't we all go? Oh, that sounds good. Whoa, does that mean the girls will be wearing yukata? If we're lucky. A festival? We'll bring Nanako-chan along too. Okay. Of course. Really? Yay! <laughs> that settles it then. Festival food always tastes great for some reason, even if it ain't anything fancy. It's just the atmosphere. You get that when you're around a lot of people. Whew. We'll finally be able to get some edible food for once. Sorry, ladies. All right, Kanji, well, you'll have to wait just a little bit longer for some edible food. It's not time yet. So, guys, next time on Let's Play Persona 4 Golden, we'll continue our life. Just because the case is over doesn't mean our life's over. We're here for a year. We have people to hang out with and things to do and summers to enjoy. So, until then, thank you guys so very much for watching this. And I hope you're having a fantastic day.